Hey everybody! Hello hey guys! Majlov here, we are the Vasquez family. In today's video, we are going to be reacting to the second part of Sardar Udham. Mm. This is part of the two-part series of this movie, of our reaction to this movie. Um, the first part was extremely hard to watch. Mm. It was extremely intense. And from all of from what you guys have said, the second part is, is a lot more. Um, it's been quite a journey so far. We've been kind of holding back from giving our full thoughts because we want to wait till we see the movie in its entirety and let the movie kind of sit in before we give all of our thoughts. So stay tuned to the end of this video to hear our entire reflections and, and review on this movie. Quick disclaimer before we jump in, for those of you that don't know, again, this is a movie based on a true event. So the events in this movie were real, they happened, but they are an expression of that event. So not everything in this movie is exactly how it happened in real life, but it is extremely close. But with that, we're going to jump in. Thank you so much for joining us today. We hope you enjoy our reaction. Here we go. It's so terrible. Ow, man. See the blood on his back? Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, his hand is shaking. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. We don't know who she is, do we? Mm -hmm. First time meeting her. Oh man, there it goes, there it begins. Him. You helped him purchase the guns twice. Oh my god. Oh my gosh, dude. They just wanted his confession, that was it. You mean forced confession? Right. <clears throat> She got really close to him. Right? Mm -hmm.
2019. I remember you told me. Working in the factory on the railway. Yes, sir. You want something, sir? Take his orders. You can't rise in rebellion and expect to measure. Not what was coming. Something bothering you, sir? No. Nothing ever bothers me. What one goes to, I know about it. You know nothing. I ended Gandhi's soul force with brute force. They were women. Children. The wounded. Wounded? The relatives carried them away. Carry away how, sir? There was cut field. Shoot at sight orders. People afraid to take people to hospital. Nonsense. When he stopped firing, that was the sign that it was good for them to go. You don't think it was brutal, sir? It was sufficient. Is he because he was still wanted then? Mm. Oh look, that's how he got the paper. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The day before, before. the event. Yeah. Wow. wow, a hole for the gun. So you can hide it in the book. Speaking of patience. Wow. Oh my gosh. <laughs> wow. Like just like that, really? What are they doing? 
Oh. Forcing food to his stomach. Oh my gosh, dude. This is actually like, like, like forcing it in his stomach. Yeah, like this is. Oh my god. Huh. I know you'll never kill her. You've never killed anyone before in your life. What happened to her? What changed you? Mm. Oh my gosh, man. Gosh, they weren't doing anything. Can't get out or do anything. They're all trapped there. Oh my gosh, man.
do at that point? He's exhausted. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to be kept on. Keep it on. And now some relaxation at 8 a.m.
Don't you think that the firing went on for too long? I was going to punish them. My idea was to make a wide, strong impression. I was going to teach them a lesson. How are my kids doing? A lot. A lot. Mm-hmm. Sometimes it's really hard to believe that humanity can be good. It really is. And the opposite. Hmm? And the opposite, too, how we can be so evil. Yeah. You know? What that something that Sadaruham was saying is, you know, how you read the word massacre in like the textbooks, <coughs> and you don't realize how horrible and like, like just truly terrible and evil event that happens in history, and to see it visually, what a massacre really is, it's just like heart wrenching. I feel every time I read a history book, there's just numbers and names and dates of when these things occur. Mm. But sometimes, always, in fact, it's hard to believe a pr in a present moment of that reality. Yeah. And it's, it, it, it truly... I mean, every, every single one of those numbers at the end of this movie mm -hmm. is a whole other story, is a whole other you know, movie angle, and, and that's, I mean, this is just from, from Udham's perspective, there's a lot to talk about, I mean, this is a, a three-hour movie, you know, mm -hmm. because it's, it's like you said, we, we, we almost witnessed two acts in this one, I would say, mm -hmm. with the court and the final, I mean, the court scene alone was one thing, but then, but I, mean, I, I just, I, I can't, he, he said it, I mean, nobody wins a war. Mm -hmm. There's there's so much death for just an end point. It's very, very deep stuff. And there's a lot that we are given to live in the present moment. But it's always important to just remember the past. And to, to live in, in... Oh, God, it's... Josh, there's not a lot to say. The kind of hatred we just saw. Mm -hmm. The kind of inhumanity and the... The horrific things with no mercy, no. This is yeah. the complete opposite of love. The complete opposite of. Of what we're called to be, to the extreme of. I mean, there are there are not a lot of words to say when you see something like this. Because mm -hmm. it happened, like. The fact that it happened, and. There's nothing. That could change that event, you know. It's you. You really get the the extremities of, of human mm -hmm. beings. Yeah. What the the absolute terror that we can cause, but also the the strength and the perseverance that we can have as well. And you get both ends of the spectrum: fear, even the happiness that him and this his his best friend were having. Hmm. You you it's it's all in this movie. Films like this, since I was a little boy, you know, I think of Schindler's List. A lot of these World War II stories that I watched growing up, I remember they would really hurt so deep. And then the stories that come out of my own country in Colombia, the horrors and terrors there of what humanity does for the sake of power, for the sake of greed, 
we forget conveniently forget that the 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 people we're controlling are people humans alike so when you see this film it's so well done i feel, i do want to talk about the, the hmm. film as a film it is the reason it it lets us feel all of this stuff is because it's well done if this hmm. movie had been not well done badly written or acted or anything of the sort then it's easy to create a distance between what we're watching and what we're feeling right. and it's just a movie but this was wonderfully done masterfully done depicted in its raw state when it needed to be yeah i think i think it was very impactful in, in us following utam for a lot of yeah. it there's a lot of moments where after the terror and the horror of the massacre we we saw a lot of the aftermath through his eyes the what's camera the most, was on him for what's a the lot most of like heartbreaking part about this whole thing is actually something i've learned recently i wish i could remember his name but he was a survivor of the Holocaust. And, like, you know, moments like that, like, moments that in history that are so evil, it's so hard to believe. You know, he says something of, like, you know, what happened in the past is terrifying. But what's even worse is the indifference in humanity. Because even after everything that's happened, there's this indifference and people just, like, it's, it hasn't really changed. Like, it hasn't been recognized. You know, like, for, we need mo more movies like this to put more, you know, to recognize these things and realize how horrible it is and why do we keep doing it in history, you know? Because, like, this is just one of many terrible, like, terrible time periods in history that have occurred, you know, and the fact that things like that are still happening, you know, and I'm not, like, comparing which one's worse, like, it's just in general, that's what, that's what mom said it's it's a display of of hate in in its in its most visceral and raw raw form i mean there's no like josh said there's 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 the level of good in this movie but then you see the exact opposite i mean mm -hmm. there's no way to describe i mean one one thing alone is like you know towards the end of the movie when he's talking about youth and his teacher telling him how important youth is and there's kids that were there that day that will never will never live beyond those young years that they weren't able to live out their your their youth fully because it was taken from them mm -hmm. it was it was robbed from them and and that's the most sad the, the the most tragic thing about it is they were just they were just gathering they were just gathering together they were in a peaceful state of you know getting sharing a common goal and uniting peacefully um, for things that they stood for and it's... you know I always I'm always taken aback by like you know not only is the person up high who's in charge of giving this this order right but then you have the person in charge of this group of soldiers who has a say in what happens I mean whether they believe it or not they do have a say they choose to, to agree and follow orders. You know, they choose to not be courageous and be cowardly um, when faced with something like that. And then you have every single one of these people holding a gun who had to shoot over and over and over. Like, yeah. every single one of those people had a choice, yep. whether they believed it or not. So the fact that someone who's following orders can go to the extreme of doing these things you know that to me is just it just starts it goes even deeper into the, the sickness of hatred yeah. a lack for humanity for for life the honoring the sanctity of life it's it's that it's it's you know what we saw with the massacre is really just the the end point you know it's the build up of mm -hmm. s decades and centuries of dehumanizing or rather seeing another human like you were saying that and and treating them as less than and and it's and it's you know it's this is just one example of that you know there's i mean we don't you know there's the list right and and it's 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 really that you know the question that i mean to think is how how could a, a human be so so inhuman it's and, just it's and, just and do that. all fear man what's that it's, it's, I it's driven it's by all fear. fear it's it's even and pride yeah there's there's so many things that i would like to say but 
then again and just be out of, of frustration and pure rage because there's so many things to be frustrated about. Yeah. Like, just one, the, the principle of what, what happened, the amount of lives that were lost. But I think the worst part is that this is the first time that we're hearing about this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And there's so many events that we just don't know about. I, if I can share my reflection on the movie is, and just this event in history, I'm just very frustrated and very sad. Yeah. I mean, I, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll stop. <laughs> no, there's I'll a lot start. of, a lot of thoughts going through my mind and yeah. it's really, it's really difficult to put it into words. But the thing I can say is what I'm feeling right now. And that's just frustrated. It's just, yeah. and sad. No, and I mean, you have a valid, valid and very true points. I think it's, you know, I think when a movie like this, you're right. There's just stories that it's sad to think this is the first time we're hearing about this. But now it's like, okay. But well, we are hearing how, about it. We are. Is... How do we? How do we? How do we respond? You know, and it's, you know, it's one thing to look at this. You know, clearly, very specifically to how the Indians were, you know, this this group of people specifically was. I mean, destroyed with the massacre. Well, one thing I remembered from the first part when we were watching this is, you know, how we were seeing the brokenness of both sides. You know, but if you really look at it, that brokenness would have never been there if it wasn't from someone else. You know what I mean? Like, it's a cause and effect thing. You know, and he went there to really avenge all those people who were murdered, who were injured, you know, like, from this terrible massacre... You know, you can tell, like, that's the only intention he had. Like, and really try and make an impact and really free them, free themselves from, you know, the, the oppression of the, the British Empire. You know, and that, the most heartbreaking scenes for me was not even, like, when it was happening, but afterwards. The people who weren't there, who didn't know that it happened. You know, just to go out there and then see the people you that you knew I can't I mean, it's just horrible it's so horrible you know it's just terrible so. <laughs> okay you know sometimes as a mom like I don't I don't ever like cry in movies but this one yeah. this one was right, it takes you like three days to like well I mean I even cried in this one right away and, and to me it, it lingers on me in me for Usually three days, but this one I think will. I hope, I I pray that it stays with me for a very long time. I think a movie like this needs to remain within you somewhere, somewhere saved, in your heart. Um, just to learn, just to learn something from it, to, to become a better person, to, be thankful for for life, for people you love. Um, for your friends, for, for being alive. Um, you know, it's like, it's like the kids say, you know, how many times do you read about massacres? And when you see this, it's like, it really hits you differently. And as a mom, and I don't know if, um, my love, if you agree with this too, but you know, I feel like, oh my goodness, we just watched this together. And I know it's hard for, for all of us, you know, especially you guys. I don't think we've ever watched anything to this caliber with you guys before but I think it's something that should impact us we should sit through it and I'm thankful that this film was made very extremely great because we're able to learn from it we're able to see not to see it because I mean that's just you know to some degree to, to to experience and learn learn about what these people went through what they still suffer through. I'm when they said that the this this part of the the country still feels the impact of that. Of course, I can I can only try to imagine what that is like. Remind me of what you said when you went to to Auschwitz. You know, it's like when 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 a, such a a powerful act of hate is 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 done. You know that 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 sits for a long time. You know, and, and 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 beyond what we learn, I mean, you know, it's it's also the sense of what they said at the end, like the fact that there hasn't been a a direct apology, or rather, 
acknowledgement. I mean, we don't know the, the exact of, it, of that, yeah. but it's, I mean, you know, it, there's every reason to be infuriated, Josh. You know, there's every reason to be frustrated because, you know, if there's, if there's, if there's anything we learn in history in, in class and school is, you know, history repeats itself. And I think the the reason for that is we don't we don't really sit because with... Because we're human. That's why it repeats. Because we're human, but because we don't sit with our wrongdoings and, and like with Jimmy the things said, that we do. The yeah. indifference of what the, the things indifference. that have happened. There's, there's, no, yeah. there's no, like, sitting and facing and, and, and facing yourself and all of your, you know, and, and, and truly trying to change for the better, you know. And this is, this is just... This is just one phase, you know. Like Dad said, there's so many natives in in South America, and and here in North America that have been stories we don't know, histories we don't know, cultures. Even on the other because side. Because they're of the just world. they're not they're not taught, and we're mm-hmm. we're conditioned to not know. And and movies like this, you know, we're just grateful to the to the filmmakers to. You know, like my Dad said, I mean, this a lot of it was to the way the movie was done and and, and shed and. And especially you guys for even, you know, Requesting telling us it, about yeah. this movie. And, yeah. and mm. we know it's impacted a lot of you as well. And I can only imagine the impact it's had on you because it, it hits you in a very, a much more personal level. Um, hmm. it's, a, it's a very aggravating thing to, to live with some, knowing that your people were persecuted and... and killed in that way and, and with no no mercy and no humanity the only the only thing we can truly have for this is sympathy mm-hmm. to try to understand what that feels like just by watching it in a, in a rectangle that's all that's all living it is I want to try to teach you something too though Josh that I'm feeling so empowered by it's the performance by Vicky Kashua, oh my gosh, dude. who oh plays my gosh. Udham. Oh my gosh, yeah. You can't just sympathize. If you are Vicky, you have to live out this nightmare. Mm-hmm. As an actor, as actors, we are called to That's that, that alone. Like I just just imagining like what that had to be like, like every single day, like having a like man, like just as an artist, like that is. I appreciate that and. And like to know what that takes, like that takes so much every single day, to like put yourself there. This is a message I mean, for I, this is a message for Vicky and the filmmakers of this movie. You may not be recognized by some academy here in in, in America, but your movie is making impact. It's it's pointing the light to a human person like Udham Singh, mm-hmm. who literally carried his people to whatever sanctuary was left for them with whatever breath they still had left in them. And I go back to that scene where he was with Michael Dwyer in his hmm. in his house. I don't know how accurate that is, but I right now I'd like to believe it was somewhat accurate because if Udham goes after the one man who called the order, I have to believe that this Udham gave Michael a chance to show his true spirit. I have to believe he he studied him. Mm-hmm. He wanted to see, was there any humanity in him? Was there any sign of, why did I do such a horrible thing? I have to, as an actor, as a man of color, as a man that's seen too much in this life already, I have to not just sympathize, but I completely empathize with Udham Singh and the Indian people. I can hear the arguments of of history and the the British history and the protectors of history and the pride of governments and the pride of different powers that be. I, I hear the arguments and I understand them, but you can never, ever justify taking a life. You can't justify taking one life. So how do you justify taking... Thousands upon thousands and millions, millions and millions and millions. So then the great dilemma is Udham Singh did take a life. He took the life of Michael Dwyer. Was it justified? I think that's the thing that this movie is presenting the question of. Was it justified? That's a lot. I, I, you know, it's a good movie. It's, it's, it's going to have us talking and it's going to be 
you know, our conversation. And, and again, thank you to mm-hmm. all of you to, for recommending this, for, for pushing us to watch this. This um, movie's in like... For anybody watching this, movies. that is... Anybody you know that, that may have a, a connection, um, we'd love to... We'd really appreciate to, to hear um, your story and your thoughts on this movie down below in the comments. And anybody that has watched this, whether you've never heard of the story before and you're kind of like in the same boat as us where mm-hmm. we're jumping into this without any clue as to what we were getting into and or if it was you know if you guys are very familiar with the story we'd love to hear what you have to say your reflections your thoughts um because this is a lot this is a lot and we're this is i know going to sit with us for a couple days um so thank you for one joining us today um we hope that you received something and our reaction impacted you in some way and and yeah we thank you for not only joining us for our reaction, but listening to what we have to say, our thoughts, um, and being patient with us as we, you know, and for just listening to us, for being here and listening to us as we express our initial thoughts to this, because this is a lot. Um, Mm -hmm. There is no, I mean, yeah. So, so again, thank you. Uh, Go out there, spread your light, love, push away any fear, like any fear that is hindering your life or, or limiting you. And, and by fear, I mean the fear that extends into anger and hate and resentment. Just push it all away. Mm-hmm. Just know that it comes from somewhere deeper, far more sinister. A force that has tried to conquer and, and completely take over this world. And, and just know that every, every day we have a choice to fight that. At the end of the day, that's, that's, that's what unites us all, is, is the battle of good and evil. Um, so just just keep fighting for the good, for the light. Um, we love all of you. Yeah, guys, just love more, love more, and, and recognize where we can do better. Um, so again, thank you. Go out there, spread your light, and we'll see you guys in the next Magic video. Bye. Bye. Bye.